Hey, I'm good day everybody. This is Sports Tonight News. I'm Joe Borak. A pleasant good evening to you all. This is going to be the next NFL video as we talk about now another field goal game as the Packers lose by a field goal and the 49ers win. Congratulations to your fans. Claps up for you. Both underdogs win today as the Bengals were able to have McPherson be the MVP of the game and the 49ers have Robbie Gold and their special teams step up as the MVP of the game to figure out what else I said about the Bengals game, please check out that video that will be linked at the end of this one, or you can just click on my channel and check it out as well for that game if you're interested in that one. But let's get into this one. This one was another absolutely spectacular game. Debo Samuel's a dog. He's one of the better receivers in the game. He just had Garoppolo, who's more of a game-managing quarterback that's not a yardage quarterback and not isn't, isn't the most efficient passer, but tends to grind and find ways to win. He's more of a probably 18th-ranked-ish quarterback, but... He finds ways to win, and that's all you need when you have that good of a defense and that good of a special team. And first and foremost, the 49ers won this game because of Debo Samuel absolutely balling out again. And their special teams, and then George Kittle had a very good game as well. And Elijah, the rookie, Wonder Mitchell, who they picked and broke records as a rookie with them, broke rookie records with the San Francisco 49ers and continue to have success in this postseason game. All of those people are big keys to the 49ers winning this game. Uh, Jimmy Garoppolo got pressured a good bit, had to take four sacks. He unfortunately made a very unwise play, which would have gave the 49ers more momentum, potentially at the end of the first half when he threw that interception there, uh, which just wasn't a a, a good, wise um, play there as he had to try to extend the play and really should have just threw it away instead of trying to force it to George Kittle when he could have got it to him earlier if he wasn't forced to run out of the pocket. But since he was, he should have just threw it away. But it was as it was. They lived to tell about that, obviously, because of the special teams getting a blocked field goal that uh, stopped the Packers from getting points in the first half. They carried that momentum into the second half. And then their defense never looked back. This 49ers defense has been the biggest thing for them all season, as well as their special teams. And they say defense wins championships. And when you have a great A, we're really a, probably a B-plus to an A-level defense, depending on the week when you're the 49ers, but a very good defense at that. And then you have a very good special teams. Those two things go together as wonders to be able to get deep in the playoffs, and we're seeing them because of that mainly. Even against Dallas, it's not like Jimmy G was immaculate. Uh, they won because <clears throat> of Debo, again, had a good game with Elijah Mitchell. Uh, the Cats, Kittle, everybody doing their thing, and the defense stepping up big time. And also, of course, they had some good plays on special teams. This team literally lived by the mantra of defense wins championships. This team has been building since they had Jimmy G through their defense and through their special teams. And then he's just been able to limit the turnovers and, for that reason, win them games. The reason why, uh, the, the reason why Tennessee lost is the reason why San Francisco won. He had that one off play. Otherwise, Jimmy G was able to limit the turnovers and play a good game manager mode in this game, where at times he makes too much of those boneheaded throws, like he did on the one play that did lead to the pick. He really zoned it in in the second half and played a good game. And also in the first half, he made back-to-back -back good throws on the one drive to Kittle and Jennings. They dropped it. It became a, a fourth down play that they had to kick the ball away, and that tarnished the drive in the first half, so he could have better numbers, too. If those guys made those plays, Kittle, of course, made the catch highlight of the game, though, being able to make the one-handed catch with any got it down on the uh, sideline, which is a good throw by Jimmy G um, to be able to get it, <clears throat> um, just to be able to go to Kittle. But again, he's an average to, he's like a meh average quarterback, but he finds ways to win. That's why he's usually overrated, but he's able to do his thing, get it done today, Jimmy Garoppolo, and hats off to him. And congratulations to him because you deserve to get hats off when I obviously take shots at him sometimes just for not being as squeaky clean in certain moments, just as Ryan Tannehill was today for the Tennessee Titans. So him being able to play a clean enough game, Elijah Mitchell being a beast of a rookie, and the Debo Samuel first and foremost offensively being the absolute dog he is in the receiving court, but first and foremost in the running game as well, uh, was able to win them this game as well as George Kittle continuing to do his thing. Now, Debo and Kittle did limp off at the end, but Debo did seem to be moving around fine in celebration, so I would think he will be fine, and those guys, by all accounts, unless if their legs are dead or playing in the NFC Championship. Um, that would just be my prediction, but the special teams won this game as I wrap up this video, first and foremost for the San Francisco 49ers. The second reason are the offensive play of Mitchell combined with Debo Samuel combined with Kittle, and then the third reason is the defense combined with the fact that Jimmy Garoppolo played a disciplined enough game to win them this game, which is 
the reason why they were able to get the field goal opportunity and be able to have that after their defense and special teams gave them the momentum in the tie game, especially the biggest momentum play being, of course, the block punt to then tie the game. And that's when you really thought once the Packers had that awful drive where their defense stepped up the 49ers and stopped them on the next drive there after the block punt, that that was when this might have been going towards the 49ers. And that's, of course, what it did. It did go towards the 49ers. And they won by three. So great win by them. Great job, 49ers fan. Congratulations to you. Getting to the NFC Championship. We'll end up seeing who you play tomorrow. But you guys definitely, with the defense and special teams you're playing, do have a good chance. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe. Links can subscribe down below or up above on the easy-to-use widget. Stay safe out there and enjoy the rest of the playoffs.